is June DeMarcy here today and um discussing another story where you guys requested our freshman year experience. Before I would get into my story, everyone just get comfortable, get around a campfire, roast some marshmallow, and I'll tell you my freshman year experience. Let's go. Alright, this is a gameplay with Smite. It's a good game on the PS4 blah 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 whatever console PC it's a good MMO game I guess an RPG or whatever blah 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 let's get right into the story alright let's date back to date back to around the summer of 2016 alright when I first went my freshman orientation I had to go to the bus the bus was quiet on the first day not the first day of school but orientation freshman orientation blah 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 and there's like a diversity bunch of kids from she want to keep this personal but yeah there's a bunch of diversity kids and I was like man I'm be surrounded by white kids majority of them are like from yeah they are like white and there's like other half population of my town like Hispanics and the others and then, I don't know we had like you know boring presentation as always and I was like nah, whatever and I saw a couple of my friends and keep in mind I had a schedule I hardly I hardly have anyone in my class and that's just how it is for high school yo oh uh, let's see let's see what's important why right, those high school cliche like you won't even see in your just start telling you straight up you won't even see like some of your friends graduate, there will be some dropouts. So let's see. Oh, they won't always be there for you. They might go to a different road. I mean, basically, high school is like a D. It's your choice as a going like either going to college, and regardless of that, <laughs> on the why I'm thinking ahead of the future. But keep in mind, I'm just a sophomore, and yes, I'll tell you my freshman year expense. So basically. Like, all right, let's talk about my teachers, bro. I hated still my teacher, my PE teacher, bro. I had to run every day. I guess that was a purpose for hope. And uh, I don't know other kids. I don't like majority white kids in my classroom. Some are pretty cool. Some we shared the same entrance interest, like music, video games, anime. And a lot of types of stuff. There's some other white kids, bro. They're just quiet. I don't know. The other ones, uh, I swear, they do the weirdest thing ever. And um, let's see. My classes. Alright, so keep in mind, I had seven classes. One was math, English, hope, theater, Spanish. Oh, what's the other two? What's the other two? Shoot, I'm trying to think. Oh, biology and... Damn, what was my construction? Alright, we'll start off with math. Math was a, a pain in the butt. I didn't even like... I don't know, I just felt the teacher was like... The higher power of everyone. And the student, they were like, eh, whatever. I mean, it just took the class. Didn't really care. Well, he's passed it with the B, I think. I don't know, screw that class. English English one was pretty good. I met some people. Never pretty good. And I have one of my friends we were in the same class, like from middle school. And yeah, I think that was like only two no three out of three out of, out of the other classes. I mean English one was pretty good. Props to the English teacher. I really appreciate it. And um what's the other teacher? Uh Pope. Basically it was like a PE class. Couldn't stand that class, whatever. What I just said earlier, I don't know why I'm repeating it. Uh, Spanish, it was okay. I actually learned crap in that class. So things I don't even know or pronounce any words in Spanish. It's a pretty good class. Uh, drama, yeah. I mean, I like acting, so. Don't be ashamed. Just look for what you're good in school. Could benefit your life. Later on, or especially in college. Oh, let's see. 
biology, bro, my teacher did not teach any crap in that class. So basically, the other kids, it was like talking over her, and I don't know. I guess when I tried to look back at her, or trying to find her again this year, I guess she was fired. I don't know. Let's see, what else classes? Oh, shoot, shoot, no, I won't save that for the last. Oh, what was my other class? Oh, yeah, okay. Least, best, the best class I ever think for freshman year was construction. We had some funny kids. I don't know, the teacher was great. Like, a lot of funny kids just throwing jokes around. I don't know, like, that class would always make my day up whenever I feel down. All right, wait, we just finished talking about class. Let's see, we'll get on to friends. All right, um, so beginning of freshman year, always, I would always hang out with my friends until later on, it was like, I was like isolated and lonely. Not just because I'm like, well, I was going through stuff, but I mean, I want to keep my circle like small, a bubble, if you get the, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I just kept the love, just cared about school, nothing else. And of course, there will be those kids that run up to you like, like, hey, or, or no, I mean, I don't know what would kids, I forgot what kids run up to me. I made some new friends, like, yeah, I made a lot of white friends. I mean, friends just come and go, keep that in mind. Like, they, some played an important role in your life. And some are just meant there, or meant to be there. Sorry, but yeah, meant to be there. And I don't know. I mean, the people over there, they're like, well, there's some edgy kids, like, trying to be cool. I mean, I don't know. Don't be those kind of kids. Just be yourself. You don't have to fit in. Yeah, there's a lot of group people, but always be yourself. You don't, I mean, you could rely on your friends, but. Just remember, once you're finished with school, you just have to go on your own road. And, yeah, basically, friends, I mean, I keep my circle low. I have, like, a little bit of friends. I mean, I have some, like, close friends, but some acquaintance, like, just for classroom purposes, like, work and stuff. Oh, let's see. What's the next topic? Wait. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, eh, that school was like, well, the school right now is like, I don't know, I just find it obnoxious with some stupid rules. Uh, incompetent teachers. Teachers doesn't even know how to do their job. Teachers just get there for the paycheck and just read, read some stupid things from the textbook. I don't know, I just don't feel like, I don't, I just don't. I don't even know what the purpose is going. Like, we just don't do nothing. I mean, I just... I didn't want to go to school just for that. But let's see what's the next freshman year. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, girls. Girls is the next topic. Alright, before dating a girl, you just gotta, like, know the girl more. Before even considering dating, like, get to know their mood, what they want, what they're gonna do. I mean, that's if you're going to consider a relationship because you got to keep it strong no matter what. Whatever you guys going through. But but before, like, dating, just, I don't know, just get a girl. Not get a girl, but, like, find your type. Don't be, like, picky. Like, just find someone that's nice, knows how to cook. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> nice, same hobbies different uh same vibe knows what you're struggling and and keep them company like satisfied from my perspective i wasn't really looking to a relationship i just want to take care of myself enjoy myself and yeah i mean there are some girls that try to hit up and i was like i don't know i mean I'm not that type of person that goes like on and off relationship. I just find it unhealthy. I just genuinely, genuinely 
find that unhealthy. So I wouldn't consider to do that, y'all. And yeah, just find a girl you like. Help her, help her go through stuff. And no matter what, just keep it strong no matter what. And yeah, just try your best. And for my advice, just keep strong and make sure she knows how to learn to cook. I'm joking, but I'm serious. Here's my advice. She ain't the one she can't cook. End of story. Alright, let's see next topic. Next topic. Next topic. Oh yeah, and um, I met a lot of people. They recommend me to like, watch movies. Some artists here. And yeah, I just open my mind more. With the pop culture. Such like Extension Cord. Ugly God. Ski Mask. Uh... Oh, you know those SoundCloud rappers, Lil Pump. Yeah, I like them. And yeah, I, I mean, I I knew before it even blew up. Like everyone playing, look at me like every class. Like dang y'all, y'all don't have to hop right on, act so much. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, freshman year was like it was like a new start off. Like you'll see your own people around but I mean they could like what I said earlier they would go to a different road and do other stuff and just be yourself basically and or now I'm just like okay my freshman year advice would be just do good in school never know or you're having so much opportunities in high school take advantage of it such as dual enrollment and don't take easy class like pff, just a diploma. You gotta push yourself. Push yourself. Challenge yourself. Do whatever it takes to be. And also look considering if you're going to college and stuff. And freshman year was... Eh. I mean, a lot of people cut me off. I mean, that's cool. I'm the one that's... Like, keep it low, y'all. Don't be prideful of everything. Be the opposite of arrogant. Be humble. And I don't know. I mean, those typical cliche like, oh, the next freshman is gonna ruin the high school. Oh, they're gonna ruin everything. Oh, like man, shut up. Everyone's everyone has been a freshman before, so don't, don't use that kind of excuse. It happens to everyone. And yes, even you if you're watching it. If you if you enrolled to school, I don't know. And yeah, so much things a freshman year. I had new games, new artists, movies. I'm just like being creative in my mind, and it's just, I just find creativity fun for everyone. And yes, yeah, so uh, that's basically what I had to say for freshman year. But thanks guys for hearing my side of the story and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and like and subscribe you guys do more tales i appreciate it thanks guys for watching and hearing not sure if you're watching or this but yeah if you're new to the channel uh i just do whatever right on things on my channel whatever works whatever floats the boat you feel me but yeah thank you guys for watching and peace out